Thanks a lot, Scott. Apple is the application leader with more than 600,000 downloadable games and tools on the App Store. So why do developers prefer Apple over Android and what can Apple enthusiasts expect next? Three top developers join us here in San Francisco this morning. Go Wong is the co-founder of Smule. George Labash is creative director at Game Collage. And Shail Sanasane is co-founder of Mobisoft Infotech. Join me here along with John Ford talking Apple ahead of what is generally considered good to be a, an exciting day. Why do developers react so emotionally to this conference? Well, it's a great platform. Uh, Apple is really the reason that Smule exists in the first place. If there's no iPhone, SDK, no App Store, there would be no Smule today. And part of that is because Apple continues to make killer hardware, especially for doing audio and music, which is what we do, as well as interaction and graphics. Uh, they provide great SDKs to developers to be able to actually take advantage of the hardware. Then there's a great way to actually distribute the apps you have in terms of the App Store and everything around that. So you put all that together, you get like a totally a 360 degree complete solution right. to actually go and get your stuff out there. So uh, we love it. And Shail, today's sort of the culmination of all of that. Has Google has their answer to this been effective or not? How, how, how good are they according you guys in return? I think they are increasing in terms of number of users and there are huge use uh, user base and uh, there are so many devices right now. They are the number one in terms of number of devices activated per day. However, in terms of monetizing and getting people who can pay back to the developers, Apple is still uh, number one and nobody can beat it. Uh, Google has a long time to go uh, to beat with, uh, actually with the flurry, uh, there is one uh, fact that out of one dollar, uh, if any Apple developer is making one dollar, uh, compared to Android, they are making 23 cents. Yeah. So there is a huge leap in between. So let's talk about the iPad. I mean, we've seen the enormous growth of the iPhone. For Apple to really keep its stock growing, the iPad has to really ramp and continue ramping. How many of you guys are really interested in developing for the iPad and see the same sort of potential there that you did on the iPhone? Kind of show of hands or what? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like, the iPad is a huge platform, and it, it, it offers a whole new different set of possibilities than the iPhone does in terms of education, in terms of kind of conveying information on a more an ongoing basis rather than just having a tool that's in your pocket and then you just whip out to you know ask for directions and whatnot. Um, has Siri been a disappointment to you or are you anxious to get a bigger hold on her? Um, Siri has been fun actually I mean I think the best thing about kind of what Apple has been able to to do time and time again the last four years since like, the iPhone has been out here uh, is to really represent kind of different slices of a clear vision um, that Apple at least has for, for how people can use computers. And I think that's what sets Apple's apart, Apple apart for consumers as well as for developers in that, wow, you know, this is a really interesting way for us to think about, rethink about how computers and mobile devices might be used. And so uh, it'd be interesting to see where Siri goes, but I certainly welcome you know, kind of what it's been mm -hmm. and also where it might be. Any of you guys going to be back for Google I.O. at the end of the month? Yes. You will be? Because we are developers working for services, you know, for our clients. We have to work on iPhone as well as iPad and Android. Mm -hmm. So we'll be there. But it, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting and more and more people are actually want to develop for iOS first. So WWDC has a, has a plus there. So, so just I'll one out you, of three. Uh, I'll <laughs> ask you one question I've been asking everybody. You know, Fortune has a big piece on Cook. And they're trying to paint the company as becoming less jobsy, in right? Where engineers don't rule the roost. More sort of traditional, ordinary. Have you, have you seen that at all in the company as you've dealt with them? Hmm, that's tough to say. It, um, I can really see kind of go, but like the, the company definitely is evolving and, and, and the developers that, that, that are contributing to the success of, of iOS is also shifting, right? As more money is coming into it and more bigger companies are coming into the, into the play rather than the small independent developers that are in there right now. So that shift is definitely going on. Your comments are already sending fire, fire engines all around town. Thank you very much, guys. Fascinating stuff. And we'll see what Tim Cook says later on today. Thanks, John. Uh, when we come back, some final thoughts as we gear up for that keynote address from Tim Cook in just a moment. A lot more squawk on the street live from Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference in a moment.